Hey everybody, it's Boo Ray Perry from Tampa, Florida, and today we are going to talk about the digital zoom on the Fuji X100F. Before we get started, quick reminder, don't forget to check out my podcast, which is called Photobomb. It's available anywhere that podcasts are found. Join my group on Facebook. It's called Pro Photo Talk with Boo Ray Perry. It's available anywhere that Facebook groups are are found. And if you are interested in any of the gear that I carry, all of the devices and little things that I keep on my Fuji X100F, as well as all of the stuff that I use in my professional Canon gear when I shoot weddings and events and portraits, all of that is available on my website. Uh, the link is below in the description, but you can just go to bourayperry.com slash education and you will find everything you need right there. And also give me a like, please. Throw me a like. You know I need those likes to keep this channel alive. And I need your comments. Don't be afraid. Uh, I, I love it when people comment on the videos and I try to get back to you as soon as I can. All right. So here's what we're going to talk about today. The Fuji X100F Digital Zoom. I have never really used this feature on my camera because the digital zoom is really just a crop and it's one of the things that annoys me about camera phones is that people are always pinching right let me oh let me zoom in and i want to tell them you know that all, all you're really doing there is just cropping the picture and then blowing up you're not zooming in there's no optical zoom on a camera phone and there's no optical zoom on the Fuji X100F. So when you zoom in, what you're really doing is the camera is just cropping the picture and then upsizing it. The question is, does Fuji do a better job of cropping the picture and then upsizing it than Photoshop does? Because that's the real test. Because if I can just take the picture home, if I can just shoot it normally in its 35 millimeter mode, take the picture home and then crop it and upsize it in Photoshop and have it look just as good as it did when Fuji did it, well then why do I really need to use the digital zoom at all, right? So that was what I was trying to find out for sure today, was do I ever really need to use the digital zoom? For the purposes of this test, we are going to look at five images, and here's the five images right here. We're going to open these up in Camera Raw, because I don't use Lightroom. I only use Bridge and Photoshop, and there's a whole story behind that as well. You can go listen to my podcast if you want to hear that, because we talk about it on there uh, all the time. So here's the five images that we're going to look at. So the first thing I did was I set my camera up with a tripod. I put everything in manual. I used constant lighting, because I wanted all my pictures to be completely identical so we get a fair and good assessment of whether or not the digital zoom is worth it on this camera. So here is my control shot. This is a 35 millimeter equivalent. This is the standard uh, image that you take with the Fuji X100F. So here it is. This is 35 millimeters. Then I turned the uh, front, front ring there and I shot it at 50 millimeters or rather the, the digital zoom is at 50 millimeters so you get a 50 millimeter equivalent. And then I did the same thing with the 70 millimeter. So there's your three pictures, 35, 50, and 70, all done with the Fuji X100F, all processed in camera, and I have not touched them. There was nothing done at all in post. And they are also all shot in JPEG with a Provia standard as the color space on the camera. I just wanted the nice, you know, and full size, fine files, uh, as big as they can go. They're 6,000 by 4,000, each one of them. So those are your control images. And then I took the 35 millimeter and I cropped it to get it as close to the 50 as I could. So here's the Fuji 50 millimeter and then here is the crop of the 35 that I did here in Photoshop. And then I saved it with an upsize to it as well. Because one of the things that Fuji does is that not only does it crop this to a 50 millimeter equivalent, equivalent in the camera, it also upsizes it back to 6,000 by 4,000. Remember the original file is 6,000 by 4,000. So it crops it to 50 and then it upsizes it to 6,000 by 4,000. So what I had to do was go into Photoshop and crop it to 50 and then upsize it to 6,000 by 4,000. And I did the same thing at 70. So now we can take a really good look at how these compare. So let's start with the 50 millimeter Fuji and we're going to compare it to the Fuji crop in Photoshop to 50 millimeters. So this was done in the camera and then this was done in Photoshop. And when you look at them here, they're at about 22 percent right here. I don't see anything right off the bat that makes me say that the Fuji is better 
than just doing it in Photoshop. Now, make no, make no mistake about it, it's faster. You know, you don't have to do anything to it in Photoshop. But is it better? Is Fuji's upscaling to 6,000 by 4,000 better than the one you get in Photoshop? I'm not seeing it when I look at these two pictures. So let's go ahead and zoom in to 100%. So that's 100%, that's Fuji in camera. And then here is 100% crop in Photoshop. Here's Fuji. There's the crop. Are you seeing a big difference? I kind of feel like the crop actually looks a little bit sharper, just a touch sharper, but it's not a major thing. Let's, um, oops, wrong thing there. Let's go here and let's move down to where we can see a little bit of red. And we'll move this one down to where we can see a little bit of red. So this is the Fuji in camera 50 millimeter. And this is the Photoshop in camera 50 millimeter. And when I look over here at the edges, like look, I, I'm always looking here, pixel peeping, looking at the edges and the depth of field. I'm looking for, you know, artifacts and that sort of thing. And I got to tell you, I just really don't see a whole lot of benefit to using the Fuji in camera digital zoom. All right. Okay, so let's look at 70 because that's when you're really going to see some you're really going to see some stuff happen. So here's the Fuji in camera 70 millimeter zoom upsized in camera to 6,000 by 4,000, and here is the Photoshop digital zoom to 70, cropped to 70, and then upsized. And again, I'm not really seeing a great difference between these two images. Now, I don't have the most discerning eye in the world, so maybe you see stuff I don't see. Uh, please mention it in the comments if you do. So let's go ahead and zoom these in. There's 100%, and we'll zoom this one to 100% as well. Hmm, let's move it around here. Let's, uh, there's some red. Let's go down here, move this one down. So there's that one, and there's that one. So here's the crop in Photoshop. And here it is in Fuji. Again, I'm not really seeing a whole lot here that makes me think that using the Fuji 70 millimeter crop in camera is better than just waiting until you get home and cropping it in Photoshop. So what does this all mean? Well, I guess what we found out was that no, I don't need to use the digital zoom. I can just always shoot at the 35 millimeter equivalent. And then if I want to crop, I can just crop it in and upsize it in Photoshop. It will look just as good as the digital zoom, at least to my eyes. And if you see something different, then please comment uh, in the uh, comments about it. And I'll go back and look again. And uh, maybe you'll teach me something. I would love that. Uh, but to my eyes, it really doesn't look, you know, I, I'm not I'm not blown away by what Fuji is doing in the camera compared to what I can do in Photoshop with just a few clicks. However, it doesn't mean that I'm never going to use the digital zoom. There's still times when I want to use the digital zoom, and I'm going to tell you the best time right now is when I can't get to Photoshop. Because one of the reasons that I love this camera is that I travel with it. And a lot of times when I'm traveling, I'll take pictures, then I'll JPEG them straight over to my phone, and then I'll edit them in Snapseed and upload them to you know, Facebook or Instagram or wherever. And what we're not testing is what does a Snapseed crop look like versus a Photoshop crop. Now, maybe that's something for a later video, right? But I'm going to bet that if you crop an image and upsize it in an app on your phone, that it's not going to be as good as if you did it in the Fuji. Now, we're going to have to really, really test this. And, and that's a good, I may do the later video on this because that would be a good test too. But if I had to, if I had to bet a little money, I would put my money on the Fuji doing a better job than Snapseed, for example, or some other cropping program that you use in your phone. Now, I understand if Photoshop can rival what Fuji does with its own software, but some app in your phone, I don't know if it's got the processing power to really be able to clean up that image and make it look good. So yeah, there are times, and using the digital zoom can come in handy. I mean, also, I mean, if you're taking a picture and you know that you're going to have to crop it because you know you're too wide, you might as well go ahead and crop it right there in the camera. You know, you can zoom in a little bit with the digital zoom and see the picture better and take a better picture. So it's kind of like, um, 
like like I discovered that the digital zoom is not better than cropping with Photoshop, but at the same time, that's actually a good thing. I mean, maybe we've been looking at it the wrong way. We've been saying we, we expect the, the Fuji Digital Zoom to be better than Photoshop. And what we should really be saying is, wouldn't it be great if the Fuji Digital Zoom was as good as Photoshop? And I think it is. I think it's absolutely comparable. So to be able to crop in camera live while shooting and have that crop upsized and rival the quality of a Photoshop crop and upsize, well, that's pretty impressive right for the software so sure if you're taking a picture like I was taking a picture of my daughter uh, performing in her choir and I'm about six rows back and I know I'm gonna wanna crop in to be closer to her well I might as well just go ahead and crop in right there in the camera you know um, why not I'm, I'm gonna crop it when I get home anyway so I think we learned a lot uh, we learned that it's not better than Photoshop but I think it's as good as Photoshop and I think that's a pretty high mark to hit so the digital zoom is pretty handy on the Fuji X100F. Thanks for watching.